Katie. So I thought it would be fun to do some favorites. Like every month we get to talk about favorites, but I thought this time we'd switch things up a bit, do a little bit of a mom video, and let's talk toddler favorites. These are a collection of toys and foods and things that my 15 month old is obsessed with right now. And as a mom, can't help but be obsessed with as well. The first thing that I'd share her favorite book right now, and I love this book too. It is The Pout Pout Fish, and this one is adorable. It's about a glum little fish that's all sad and depressed, and he's all, he's got the sound mopey bopies. And uh, it's just, it's a super, super cute book, and I love um, reading this one to her because you get to do fun faces and noises and whatnot. It's just a really super cute book. So this is her all-time favorite book right now. We read it like one night, literally read it three day, three times in a row. So it's cute. and Maybe not that cute for three times in a row, but it's really cute. The girl loves music. I don't blame her. I love music too. She knows how to turn the stereo on. It's this thing. Shh. <laughs> one of her favorite things is music. She loves music. She loves to turn on music. She loves to dance to music. If I could bring our stereo in here, I would absolutely do that and show you how much she loves it. It would make her favorites lists for sure. But one of her favorite toys, and this is one of mine too, because I'm a music buff too, is this Munchkin Music Cube. And this thing is so cool. It's got five different single individual instruments that you can play. And each each instrument plays its piece to one of Mozart's famous pieces. And then if you hit the orchestra button, it, oh, of course then, if you keep hitting the orchestra button, it doesn't shut off, but it keeps playing. And it's so delightful. But when the orchestra mode, then you can turn off different instruments to hear just individuals again. I just love it. It's just so stinking cute. We'll turn that off so we don't have any more accidents. But this is by Munchkin. It's called the Mozart Music Cube. It is so stinking cute. If you have a little music buff or if your family is pretty musical and you want to teach them more about different musical instruments and orchestra, this is such a cute, cute toy. And it has an on off switch. <laughs> One of her other favorite toys and I don't blame her. It's pretty darn cute. Is this plush Noah's Ark set? It is so cute. It's a little little ark, and inside it's got little little hatch and all the little animals, including Noah and Mr. and Noah and Mr. Noah. Noah and Mrs. Noah. They reside in there, and it's so darn cute. She loves pulling out all the different animals, finding their their little pair. Of course, there's two of each kind in here, and she loves being able to find little matches and um yeah she just she loves it it's such a cute game we do all the animal noises and then she has just as much fun taking them out as she does putting them back in it's just a super super cute toy and unlike uh the mozart music cube this one doesn't come with batteries this one is nice and quiet <laughs> another toy that she is loving she's loved this toy for a long time because i think i bought this when she was maybe seven months old and it started off as a chew toy and <laughs> now she's actually using it properly but it's been a slow evolution is um this wooden um stacking ring from melissa and doug um these are super cute i love wooden toys in general and melissa and doug make really awesome wooden toys but this one um it's just got wooden rings on it and it's one of those classic stacker toys where they they learn how to slide the discs onto the wooden dowel i mean it's it's pretty simple for what it is. But she actually loves it right now, um, but she's loved it since she was seven months just for a different reason. So love this toy, one of her favorites right now. Another one of her favorites, and this, I don't have the box anymore because the box is obnoxious and it was hard to get the pieces back into the box correctly, but we have them in this handy dandy Ziploc bag. And these are actually, um, I don't remember the brand name of them, but you can check out my blog post and that's linked down below for all the links to the different toys and items that I'm gonna talk about if you're interested in knowing more. But they're um, magnets, and they're, these particular ones are seaside creature creatures. Not fishy, I mean, she just is obsessed with these. We, um, got, she got these for Christmas, I think. Um, but there's tons, I think there's like 20 or so in this, in this set, but she loves the magnets. I think next we need to get 
uh, I saw a set that had farm animals on it, which she loves farm animals. And then uh, also some letters I thought might be kind of cute to get like a set of letters so she can learn to learn her letters, you know, <laughs> so she can be as articulate as I am. <laughs> Bath time was a really big struggle to become one of my daughter's favorite things. Uh, truly, it wasn't until she was maybe nine months, nine months, maybe, yeah, nine months, sounds about right, where she actually enjoyed baths. So bath time has always historically been a struggle, but she's just now, she's finally enjoying baths. We're finally doing baths every single day. Uh, she it's it's fun she goes and squeals up to go to bath time now which is such a delight so as a result we've been having more fun at bath time and one of her favorite things which we do about once a week as a special fun treat is doing bubble baths and my favorite one that I'm using right now is the Burt's Bees um, baby bubble bath does this have a particular name baby bee bubble bath For, first of all it smells amazing it smells I've heard people describe fruit lubes and there's a bubble it escaped <laughs> and finally maybe this one is more of a mom favorite for toddlers I don't know but I have always from the beginning preferred to dress Elizabeth um, since she was a newborn preferred to dress her in um, like sets like matching top and bottom thing not like we're gonna put this shirt with this pair of pants call me lazy I don't know, but I've always preferred her in that. No. And, and so I thought I'd bring one to show you because pull it straight out of the closet. Um, it's got the cute little Peter Pan polka dot collar, little dogs on it. Little dogs with berets, mind you, but little dogs on it. And then it's got matching um, navy polka dot pants. Um, and I love using these kinds of things. Uh, these sets are just so helpful to get her dressed every day. Um, what's particularly nice is I try to hang the shirt and the pants together on one hanger. I've got, um, I literally stole this from her closet. <laughs> um, I've got the hanger and then I attach a, um, a little pant clip, which you can pick them up individually at like Target, for, you know, like a six pack of those little clips. I um, mean, just hook them onto whatever hanger you want. I just use one clip per hanger because her stuff is really small and I just clip the pants onto that little clip or if it's a dress and it came with tights or whatever but clip the pants onto it and then put the rest of the outfit on the hanger and that's why I love these like play sets it just makes her getting dressed so much easier and what's fun now is she's a little older I can kind of hold two up like you want to wear this one or do you want to wear this one and she gets the chance to pick I don't know it's just kind of sweet so I hope you enjoyed this collection of toddler favorites it was such fun to go through and pick up the different things that she loves right now and I'm sure it'll be fun to look back and and reminisce about all the toys that she used to love way back when when she was 15 months old don't forget you can check out the blog post for close-up pictures of all the products I mentioned as well as links on where you can find them yourself for for most of them anyway <laughs> as much as I can find I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll talk to you next time